Welcome to a lesson on the improved others method for approximating the solution to an initial value problem. Consider dy dx equals f of x comma y with y of x sub zero equals y sub zero and a step size of h. There's a way to improve others method by doing an extra step. Instead of using the slope at x sub n minus one comma y sub n minus one to determine y sub n, we compute these slopes at x sub n minus one comma y sub n minus one and x sub n comma y sub n and then we use the average of the slopes to determine y sub n. Note that we need to use the original Euler's formula to determine y sub n, the y coordinate of the second point, which I've indicated using y sub n star. I'm using y sub n star here to not confuse this with y sub n using the improved Euler's method formula. Looking at our notes below, x sub n is equal to x sub n minus one plus h, and then y sub n using the improved others method is equal to y sub n minus one plus h times the average of the slopes at x sub n minus one comma y sub n minus one and x sub n comma y sub n star. And again, to determine y sub n star, we need to use the original Euler's method formula, which is y sub n star equals y sub n minus one plus h times f of x sub n minus one comma y sub n minus one. Let's take a look at an example. We are given dy dx equals x plus y with y of zero equals one. Notice in this case, f of x comma y is equal to x plus y. We're asked to use the improved others method with h equals one fourth or zero point two five to approximate y of one. To begin, since y of zero equals one, we know x sub zero equals zero and y sub zero equals one. And now we're going to determining x sub one and y sub one x sub one is equal to x sub zero plus h, which is zero plus zero point two five, x sub one equals zero point two five. And now using the improved Euler's method formula for y sub n, y sub one is equal to y sub zero plus h, which is zero point two five, times the average of the slopes at the points x sub zero comma y sub zero, and x sub one comma y sub one star. Before we go any further, we need to determine y sub one star using the original Euler's method formula for y sub n, which again below is identified as y sub n star. y sub one star is equal to y sub zero plus h times f of x sub zero comma y sub zero. And we have all these values, y sub one star equals one plus zero point two five times f of zero comma one. And since f of x comma y is equal to x plus y, Notice f of zero comma one is just one. Simplifying, we have y sub one star equals 1.25. And now we can find y sub one using the improved Euler's method formula. Looking at this one closely, notice y sub zero is one, h is 0 0.25, x sub zero is zero, y sub zero is one, x sub one is 0 0.25, and y sub one star is 1.25. From here, to find these function values, Again, we sum x and y, f of zero comma one is one, f of zero point two five comma one point two five is one point five. Simplifying, we have y sub one equals one point three one two five. And now we can work on determining x sub two and y sub two. x sub two is equal to x sub one plus h, giving us x sub two equals zero point five zero, or just zero point five. Using the improved Euler's method formula for y sub two, we have y sub two equals y sub one plus 0 0.25 times the average of the slopes at the points x sub one comma y sub one and x sub two comma y sub two star. And now we determine y sub two star. y sub two star is equal to y sub one plus h times f of x sub one comma y sub one, where we know y sub one is 1.3125 h is 0 0.25, x sub one is 0 0.25, and y sub one again is 1.3125. I've shown the function value below. Simplifying, we have y sub two star equals 1.7031. And now we can determine y sub two using the improved Euler's method formula. You may want to pause the video and check all these values, but again, y sub one is 1.3125, h is 0 0.25, x sub one is 0 
y sub one again is 1.3125, x sub two is 0 0.5, and y sub two star is 1.7031. Determining the function values and simplifying, we have y sub two equals 1.7832. Now that we have x sub two and y sub two, we can determine x sub three and y sub three. X sub three is equal to x sub two plus h, x sub three equals 0 0.75, Using the improved Euler's method formula for y sub three, y sub three equals y sub two plus 0 0.25 times the average of the slopes at the points x sub two comma y sub two and x sub three comma y sub three star. Before we can go any further, we need to determine y sub three star. y sub three star equals y sub two plus h times f of x sub two comma y sub two. Subbing in all the known values and simplifying, we have y sub three star equals 2.3540. And now we can determine y sub three using the improved Euler's method formula. Subbing in all the values, determining the function values and simplifying, we have y sub three equals 2.4566. Notice x sub four is going to equal one, and since we're trying to approximate y of one, we only have one more iteration to make our approximation of y of one x sub four is equal to x sub three plus h, which gives us x sub four equals one. Using the improved Euler's method formula for y sub four, y sub four equals y sub three plus 0 0.25 times the average of the slopes at x sub three comma y sub three and x sub four comma y sub four star. The next step is to determine y sub four star. Y sub four star equals y sub three plus h times f of x sub three comma y sub three. Again, subbing in all the values, determining the function value, and then simplifying, we have y sub four star equals 3.2583. And now we can determine y sub four using the improved Euler's method formula. Subbing in the values, determining the function values, and then simplifying, we have y sub four equals 3.3897. This is our approximation for y of one. Before we go, let's compare this approximation to the actual function value of y of one. Again, our approximation for y of one is 3.3897. The actual particular solution to the initial value problem is y of x equals two e to the x minus x minus one, giving us y of one equals two e minus two which is approximately 3.4366. Notice how our approximation is very close to the actual function value. If we take a look at the graph on the right, the blue graph is the graph of the particular solution, and the red graph would be the approximation of the solution using the improved Euler's method. I hope you found this helpful.